Day eight. Take three. This is the third time I've tried to record this without somebody interrupting me. Wow, I'm going to be in great shape. Okay, let's start in child's pose. And knees together. Stretch forward. Forehead to your mat. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Walk it over to the right. Deep breath in. Exhale. Walk it through center. Towards the left. Breathe in. And exhale. Walk it front. Come up to all fours. And you're going to draw a circle with your hips. Like, just pretend there's... Oh, God. I was going to say, pretend there's a pen coming from your tailbone. <laughs> and then I just got a visual and... Yeah, not so good. So take it around one way and then switch it up. Other way. And let's make our way to downward dog. Hips first. And then just walk it out. Get those heels down or stretch them down. They're probably not going to touch the mat. Um, that's okay. Mine still don't. Try to get your chest towards your legs, booty in the air, and just sway it. Sway your booty side to side. Then we're going to come up on our tippy toes, on the balls of our feet, and stretch our heels down. Again, up on your tippy toes or your balls of your feet. Take a deep breath in and exhale as you come down. Let's walk it to the front. Really roll your feet so you get a nice stretch through your feet. And land in forward fold. Tug it in. Breathe. Take a deep breath in as you roll up. And exhale as you bring your arms over your head. Deep breath in. Exhale as you dive down. Breathe in, halfway lift. And exhale, come down. Bring your right foot back and your left foot back. So now we're in plank. From here, you're going to bring your knees to the ground, bring those feet up, and see if you can get your chest and your chin to the mat. If that's too much, come to your belly and just um, come into a baby cobra. And then you can lower your feet, shake your booty. And if you're in baby cobra, you can come down to your belly. If not, come up into upward facing dog. And release. Let's go ahead and stretch the right leg. Really get that heel towards your butt cheek. I really need to learn like proper names of body parts. See if maybe you can come up on your elbow and release. Let's do the left side. Grab the outside and see if you can bring it close to your buttock. Buttock. And release. From here, we're going to try to do dolphin pose. Me and Verna were talking about dolphin pose. She thought bow pose, bow, bow, B-O-W pose was dolphin. This is dolphin. So you're, you're gonna kind of do like you're in um, downward dog. 
but you're on your elbows instead of your hands. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And as you exhale, come down to your knees. And let's go ahead and make our way to downward dog. Walk it out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And let's bring that right leg up, three legged dog. Bring it through the center, step it forward. And you can go ahead and let's all lower our, our back leg. Let's start with a low lunge instead of right into a high lunge. You can bring your arms over your head, or if you need, just keep your fingertips on the mat. Open your chest towards the sky. And hands to the mat. Lift that back leg, and let's twist. You can also, to modify, keep the back leg on the mat and breathe. Bring that hand down. Come back to plank. Lower your knees. Sit back into child pose. From here, see if you can slide forward and either do a baby cobra or fully come up to an upward facing dog. From here, let's turn on our side, bring our right leg bent, bend, bend that knee, and we're gonna come up to a wild thing If that's too much, just go ahead and stay, um, you can stay on your belly, on your mat, and take a few breaths. And let's roll back. Upward facing dog. And let's roll to our left hip. Bring that foot up so it's flat on the mat. And from here, grip your right hand so you have good, a good grip. And come on up. Lift those hips up to the sky and breathe. Bring it down. Let's roll back. And Make your way to downward facing dog. Walk it out. Let's lift that left leg up, three legged dog. Bring it through the center. Step up between those hands. Lower the back leg. Bring those arms over your head. And see if you can open your chest to the sky. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Hands to the mat. You can either keep your back leg down, we're gonna do a twist, or you can lift that back leg, place your hand next to your foot, and open up. And breathe. And bring it down. From here, you're gonna do either the modified version of a chaturanga or the real thing. Come forward, hug those arms into the side, and come up to upward facing dog. Or you're in baby cobra if you did the modified version. And then let's curl those toes and come into a downward dog. From here, I want you to step 
to the front of your mat and forward fold. Hug it in. Take a deep breath in. As you roll up, exhale. Breathe in. Small back bend. And dive down. Halfway lift. Both hands to the mat. Right foot back, left foot back. Lower your knees to child's pose. Breathe in, slide forward. Baby cobra or upward facing dog to downward dog. Breathe. Lift that right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend that knee, open that hip up. Hips should be stacked on one another or close. And bring it through the center. We're gonna attempt a high lunge. If you feel like this is too much, please keep your leg, your back leg lowered. Arms overhead. Hands to heart. Hands behind your back. Open your chest. You can do this if your back leg is on the mat too. Or attempt. Belly to knee. Open it up. Belly to knee. Come back up. Belly to knee. Hands on the mat. Plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Chaturanga or modify it. That's knees down to belly to baby cobra. Forward. Tuck those toes. Upward facing dog. Downward dog. Breathe in. Let it all up. Breathe in, let it all out. Walk it out, belly to knees, and stretch it out. One more time, and stretch it out. Left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Bring it in through the center, step it up through your, your hands. And you can either lower your back knee at this time or try for a high lunge. Arms overhead, deep breath in, hands to heart, breathe, hands behind your back. Open that chest, let's do knee, uh, belly to knees. Come back up, breathe in, exhale as you come down. Last one, open that chest, and hands to mat, come back to play. Let's sit down in child's pose, forehead to mat, take a deep breath in, Exhale. One more. As you exhale, slide forward. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Walk it out. Right leg to the sky. Bend that knee. Bring it through the center. Step it through those hands or help it along. Lower your back foot and let's cartwheel open. Warrior two. Reach front, tip back. Straighten your front leg, stretch it. Peace 
warrior. You can also have your hand on your back leg to give you some more balance. And then we're going to, let's pop those hips out to the left and come into triangle. So you can be here or here or let your hand just kind of hover like dangle or you can try to put your fingertips on the mat and breathe. From here, I'm going to bend my front leg and I want to bring my back leg up a few steps. Turn that back foot a little bit forward but still at a, a diagonal and we're going to do pyramid pose. Fingertips are on the mat. Your face is um, trying to get towards your knee but don't push it. And breathe. From here, bend your front leg. See if you can come up into warrior one. Hips are facing front. And fingertips to the mat. From here, bring your fingertips out a little bit in front of you. And you can sit this one out if you think it's too much. We're going to do a standing split. Try to get your knee to your nose. Touch the mat with your tippy toe. Bring it back up. Slight bend in your right knee. Bring it back up. Last one. Bring it back up and lower that foot to the ground. If you did not do that last part, just meet us in forward fold. Hug it in, deep breath in. And roll it out. Arms overhead. Dive it down. Halfway lift. Make sure you're breathing. Even if it's a soft breath in and out of your nose, just don't hold your breath. And come down. Let's place both hands on the mat. Come into a plank or come down on your knees. And either modified or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or baby cobra. Downward dog, walk it up, really stretch those sides out, and let's bring that left leg up, bend your knee, open it up, bring it through the center, step it up, let's turn that back foot, flatten it out, Sideways on the mat and cartwheel open to warrior two. Reach front, tip it back. You can also hold on to your leg here if you need that extra sturdiness. And straighten your front leg. See if you can stretch it a little further. And from here, bump those hips out to the right. And you're either going to place your hand here or maybe up here. Bring that arm up or let it kind of suspend here. Or maybe you can get it to the mat, depending on where you are. And breathe. Just bring that arm down, bend that front leg. Turn that back 
back foot in just a bit. Step it up a little bit and lower it down to pyramid pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. From here, let's bend that front leg and see if you can come up to warrior one. If 
You want to have fun and like sway, sway it out, feel free. It's all about not being uncomfortable in your own skin. Like I used to be like, you know, this at yoga class, like, oh my God, I'm not going to do that. And now I'm like, whatever, I'm an octopus, I'm in the ocean, I don't care what I look like, you know? So it's just kind of about breaking free and letting go and not caring what other people think, even yourself. Like you're probably alone in your house and you're still like, oh no, I can't do that, I'll look stupid. So we have to get over that fear of looking stupid kind of thing. I don't know, I've been working on that this past year. All right, let's come up, straighten our legs, heel toe it in. You're probably like, shut up, what are you talking about? <laughs> come to the front of your mat. It's like bending your knees, arms overhead, dive it down. Hug it in, breathe in, and roll it on up. Pull those shoulders. From here, again, slight bend in your knee. Make sure you have a good grip on those toes. Hands on your hips. Bring that right knee up. Maybe bring your arms over your head. You can either leave your hands on your hips or arms over your head, whichever feels better. And see if you can kick out your right leg and just hold it there. Doesn't have to be high. And bring it in. Just that little posture is so, I mean, you need a lot of leg strength just to hold your leg out. It's so crazy. Let's do the other side. Left knee up. And kick it out. Doesn't have to be high. Just flex that foot. Hold it up. And release. See, that wasn't so bad. Okay, we're going to attempt, I'm gonna face you. We're gonna attempt eagle pose. When I first started, you come down like you're kind of going to sit in a chair. When I first started, I would just cross my leg over and I would put my tippy toe on the mat. And it would help me stay steady, but I would also gain the strength that I needed to balance. So if you're new, try that. If you're a little more advanced and you've been doing this for a while, Bring that leg over and see if you can wrap it around. Once you get your leg situated, bring your arms out wide. And we're going to bring our left arm underneath. And I'm, I have one hand in my other palm. Or just do your arms like this and breathe. And I want you to find a focal point in front of you while you're breathing. Lift that leg up and bring it down. Release your arms. Let's try the other side. Really grip those toes. All four corners of your foot should be evenly distributed on your mat. Slight bend in your knee. And like I said, if you're new, just cross your leg over and keep your tippy toe on the floor. That should give you more sturdiness, but you'll still be able to gain strength to hold the pose sooner rather than, rather than later. Arms out, right arm underneath. Or you can do the fake eagle arms. Find your focal point and breathe. Wherever you are.
Ready? And release out of it. Shake it out. If you want to do a couple wrist rolls, back and forth, a little stretchy of the wrists. Great. From here, arms overhead. Dive it down. Hug it in. From here, see if you can grasp your hands behind your back and let them fall forward. Keep your head heavy. Take a deep breath in. And as we release our hands, we're gonna come up into chair posture. So I have a lot more weight in my heels. And I'm opening my chest. Arms just towards the sky. Deep breath in. Sit a little lower. Hands to chest. Sit a little lower. Fingertips to the mat. Shut your legs out. Shake your head out. And from here, come to the balls of your feet and see if you can balance on just the balls of your feet while you're kind of kneeling. Come a little lower and sit back. Woo! That was rough. Okay. Grab the backs of your legs. Breathe in while you lower yourself down slowly. And exhale. From here, bring those feet behind your bum as close as you can get it. And we're going to do bridge pose. So we're going to lift those hips up. Also grab your hands underneath to help you lift up a little more. Breathe. And come down. Bring your right knee in. Lower your left knee, not your knee, your leg, sorry, to the ground. We're going to twist to the right. Keep your upper body flat on the mat as much as you can. And you can turn and look to your right as you breathe. You want to try and grab your toe and stretch that right leg out. Bring it in. Lower that right leg. And let's bring that left knee in. And Twist it on over while you have your upper body on the mat. Still, both shoulder blades on the mat. Still breathing. And then if you want to try and grab that toe and maybe stretch out that leg. Bring it in. And turn back. All right, let's keep our feet on the mat. Let's bring our hands behind our head. Use both 
with your thumbs as a support for your neck and keep your elbows nice and wide. And from here, we're going to come up, up again, and back down. Now keep doing that while breathing until I say stop. Ready? Now. holding it. Come up a bit higher. Don't crank your neck and breathe. And release. Great job. Go ahead and stretch it out long. Arms over your head. right then and there because I was about to fall asleep. So come into your comfortable seat or stay in corpse pose, whatever you want. Let's take a deep breath in, arms overhead. Hold it. Release it all. One more time. Thank you 
you guys so much for practicing alongside of me for a whole week and a day now. I am so proud of each and every one of you. You are all beautiful, amazing, powerful, strong, badass women and men. If there's any men doing it, I know some husbands and significant others do it, which is awesome. Love that so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste, y'all. I'll see you for tomorrow. Day nine. Stay peaceful.